Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Well, if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Keylor Navas. He could make all the difference because he's such an excellent shot stopper. It's not just a matter of reflexes, though. It's the way he spreads his body in front of the ball, preventing strikers from getting a sight at goal. He also hardly ever makes an error, and that's precious for a goalkeeper. OK, interesting. Pumps it into the area. He's had a shot! And he's there to make a great save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Quick pull forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Still, rather frustratingly, it is nil-nil. Looks to clip it forward. Hoists it forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Time whistle goes. Both sides have drawn blanks. Have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. So first half thoughts. Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least defensively. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half time. And we're already back on the way here. Uzbekistan playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half despite this scoreline converting chances would make a world of difference for them away from immediate danger towards the hour mark and still no goals played into the middle last ditch defending hits one forward it goes it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing Costa Rica have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Into the last quarter of an hour.
He's making good use of his strength there. He's gone for it! They've done it! Listen, I've experienced that both for and against, and you won't have to guess which one I preferred. And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. Costa Rica are making a change now. <laughs> Costa Rica take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, it's been their hard work that has got them this lead, but I just wonder whether they can keep it up. This may take a toll now. They're playing as if time is on their side when it's, it's fast running out. They've got to quicken this up. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. And there goes the final whistle.